Nissan is kicking the door on the R35, but guess what? The Datsun C is officially back. Let's get into it. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. It is your boy Javi here bringing you another out of tech video. So Monday morning we wake up to the incredible news or the nice news that Nissan has announced a special edition C sports cars to celebrate the 55 years of the C badge. So who doesn't know what a Nissan Datsun is? They've been here for 55 years and they first unveiled in Japan and it has been a hit from breaking records at the track to setting amazing times. It has a huge following and a huge enthusiast base within the car community. We love it. We've seen them swapped with anything from LS1s to SR20s to RB26. We've seen the famous animes for Matt, uh, Wang Gang Midnight that they made that the, that the Nissan C was one of the iconic cars. So this time around, Nissan has decided to you know embrace us or surprise us with a huge announcement that a new special edition is coming and it's only going to be worth sixty thousand dollars as you can see here in the video the car looks pretty badass and it's bringing back that iconic orange which is called i believe it's called hughes orange we'll have to do a little bit more digging but it's the iconic orange so in this heritage model it is basically your standard z performance trim which features a 400 horsepower twin turbo 3.0 liter v6 also like the performance the heritage comes with a mechanical limited slip differential either with a six speed manual or a nine speed automatic so for this heritage edition there not much is going to change when it comes to the powertrain we're just getting looks on it that's why the price is not an insane price it's starting msrp at sixty thousand dollars but with the performance package which is the standard one of the nissan you're gonna get either the automatic or the six speed which actually that's pretty cool because some of these special editions sometimes decide to hey you know what we're only gonna do manual or we're only gonna do automatic and then it comes with the feedback of the consumer saying oh but i don't drive manual but it sucks that you only made it automatic well nissan this time is giving you the best of both world so the heritage edition first debuted in to in tokyo at the auto salon in 2022 now the nice the nismo wasn't around yet but the performance package was definitely there so let's get into a little bit of history read a little bit of the article that says in a nod to the 1969 240z heritage comes an all-inclusive site orange paint which is what i was mentioning earlier the eye-catching color is a contrast with a black decal Extending from the hood over the roof to the trunk lid, sticker decals, sticker decals run along the side of the Z while the Z emblem earns its own heritage decal. So, okay, so we're seeing some difference. Fender flares for all four corners, pretty cool. Gives the Z heritage a more striking look on the road. Even the wheels are part, are part of the throwback. The Nissan swapping the standard wheels for a set of retro 19 inch styles alloys. The split grille in the front works as another callback to the Datsun. So, yes, you are going to get a badge as we see it here that says Nissan Heritage Edition. It's going to be on the side. But then again, you are the trim and the performance is still going to be the same thing. It will be a limited run for these and they will go on sale in the summer. Now, Nissan hasn't officially confirmed how many are going to be going around or how many units are going to be sold. But the price will be starting at $60,275 uh thousand dollars placing it it placing it sixty one hundred dollars above the standard model z so if you get another sixty sixty six thousand dollars to burn up in the pocket well you can definitely go for this heritage edition here so let's get into some pictures real quick and actually we're gonna see the front end here the front end looks pretty cool i see that the decal we can see it right on the hood and it goes right to the top and we can see that it does have a different front bumper than the original C. So, yeah, they're trying to make this retro style look as close as it can to the old school vintage C that we all know about. The interior, as we can see, is pretty much standard. There's not much of a difference. Black on black, which I love. I love black on black interior. Gets a little dark at night, but it's still pretty cool to see. And the emblem that looks pretty nice. I think it was a good move now that the nissan skyline r35 is kind of coming out of the picture and it won't be back into the picture until like 2028 
it's pretty cool to see that nissan is still paying homage or heritage to this things like the old dots and c and things like that who knows if we might even get imagine nissan brings back to the central the ser that's pretty cool to see that would that would be pretty nice to see but nonetheless this is paying a nice heritage special edition to the dots and see what do you guys think i'll read you in the comments if you guys are liking the content your boy is here and i'll see you on the next one remember to hit the subscribe and the thumbs up i'm out